I'm Dr. Ryan Stanton and it's time to find out what's going around. A few weeks ago I talked about a virus going around that looked a lot like the flu but wasn't the flu. Since then we have continued to have numbers coming into the emergency department on a daily basis. I talked with an infectious disease physician and he's telling us that this is a particular outbreak, a severe, especially virulent version of a virus known as a coronavirus. This virus is characterized by congestion, upper respiratory symptoms, headache, bad cough, shortness of breath, and occasionally a little bit of fever. Unlike most viruses this time of year, this one likes to set up shop in your body with symptoms lasting potentially two to three weeks. This can be very frustrating in a world where we think our illnesses need to resolve within a few days. This leads to multiple visits to the doctors, often multiple rounds of unnecessary antibiotics and frustration. I have also personally admitted several people to the hospital with breathing difficulties associated with this virus. These patients tend to have a history of lung issues, such as asthma, COPD, or emphysema. The good news is that the complications are extremely rare. This is another situation where symptom management rules the day. Antibiotics have no role in most of these cases. Symptom management includes over-the-counter medications for discomfort and fever, as well as medications for congestion, inflammation, and cough. If you have more severe or disrupting symptoms, see your doctor for a treatment plan. Also, realize this virus is very infectious, meaning others in the household or close to you are likely to catch it. We're seeing it run through entire households very quickly. Standard infection prevention precautions with cleaning and washing hands are advised, and higher risk people need to take extra care. You can join the conversation on Facebook at Stanton MD page and at Everyday Med on Twitter. I'm Dr. Ryan Stanton, and that's what's going around.